Hi guys, it's Kristen here from Kay's Perfect Fitness TV and today I've got five exercises to help strengthen your hips. Now these exercises are particularly beneficial if you are a runner as hips tend to be the weak link for runners due to the repetitive movement of the legs and uh, through the stride of gait. So uh, these exercises will help prevent injury and help improve your running performance. Now if you're not a runner but if you do any sport, it's still a good idea to strengthen the hips because having stable hips will just make you a stronger athlete. And if you are not an athlete at all and you just need to strengthen those hips, these are still five amazing exercises for you. So let's get on to the exercises. You will also need a resistance loop, but not for the first two exercises, but make sure you check this out in the link below if you don't have one. I'm just gonna put it aside for the first couple exercises. All you need is, is a mat, and we're going to start with a glute bridge. I tend to do a lot of glute bridge, but today we're going to do a single leg glute bridge because I want to train each glute individually and make sure that we're not overcompensating on one leg more than the other. So to do this, let's start with our feet together, hands on the, on the mat, and what you're going to do is pick your hips up. So from here, squeeze the glutes and press your heels through the floor, and you're just going to extend one leg long. Keep your thighs together and your knees together. From here, you're going to tap your hips down to the floor and back up all the way down and up. So press that heel through the floor. We're gonna do 12 on each leg. That's five, six, seven, eight. Keep the hips level as you do this. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Hold, bend it in reach the other leg long and you can take the hips down and up down and up so we're doing 12 on each leg let's do four more here four three two and one, hold, bend the knee in, hold it here for that last few seconds here, press both heels through the floor, squeeze your knees and inner thighs together. This is just really great to switch your glutes on. Those glutes can get lazy and switch off, so doing some glute activation exercises is key for any athlete, especially runners, and release. Now, we're going to flip it around. We're gonna come into four-point kneeling. We're gonna go into an exercise called bird dog, but I'm also going to um, add a side diagonal reach. So, we're going to start by reaching your opposite arm and foot away. You're gonna bring your elbow to knee, reach it away, hold, reach it on a long diagonal line, and back to center. Elbow to knee, reach it away, reach it on a long diagonal line, and back to center. Elbow to knee. Reach away. Long diagonal line and center. Elbow to knee. Reach it long. Out to the side and center. Two more. And last one. So I'm doing six reps of these and then changing over to the other side. So it's a long time to hold and maintain that balance stability and try to keep the hips level as we do this. So keep it slow and controlled. If you need to slow it down, please do. Reaching it away. Elbow to knee. Reaching it out. Diagonal. Center. Elbow to knee. Reach it out. Diagonal line. And center. Elbow to knee. Reach it out. Diagonal line. And center. Let's do three more. In.
I'm gonna walk myself forward for a monster walk. Forward. And back. So if you have more room, feel free to take more steps forward and more steps back. I'm just going to be using the length of my mat today for this demonstration. But make sure you do plenty of walks forward and back. So notice that my foot is coming in and out, in and out as I sweep it around. And I'm really switching on the outer thighs into glute knees. too much if you're running. So this is a great one to rotate through the hip joint. And using the resistance band is so helpful. You can still do this without resistance band, but it adds a whole nother element to it. Now we're gonna circle the leg up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around, and then to reverse it for four, and three, and two, and one, bring it in. Your glute should be on fire, so give that a little karate chop. And we're gonna flip it around and do the other side. So I would say that for me, I absolutely love the glute bridge because that just really switches the glutes on. It's a great glute activator. And then the clam is amazing, especially when you start getting into more of rotational exercises. And hold it, pull the pulses up. And now we're gonna rotate the knee downward and upward. Knee to knee and toe to toe. Knee to knee and toe to toe. So you're not sinking into the mat. Keep your waistline lifted. It. Back and around. Back and around. Last two. 
body chop. And that is it. Those are some amazing exercises to help strengthen your hips. Just by doing that, your hips should be feeling tighter already. Make sure you give yourself a nice glute stretch as well once you do this. You can just cross the foot over the opposite knee, draw it in, look up to the ceiling, and that's going to help to release through the glutes a little bit here. And then help to release the hip joint, open it out, change, pretty much feel good. So hopefully this will help to improve your, uh, your running, if you are a runner, and make sure that you do this two to three times a week to get the best results as well. You might also want to take a little hip opener after that as well. So remember, not just strengthening is key, but also stretching is very important as well for recovery and improved performance. So I hope you found those exercises useful and beneficial. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Say hi, uh, tag me in your posts. Let me know how you're getting on. And I can't wait to see you next Monday for another amazing workout. Thank you.